Bolts first leaves game two. Are you kidding me? What is going on? I just watched the Tampa Bay Lightning lose 7-2 to two versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bad news to start this game. Hedman out day-to-day, practiced earlier, uh, but did not play in this game. And, ooh, it showed. 156 playoff games. You can't replace that. This team definitely missed 77. Chernak and Mikey Asima also out due to the injuries to the head and a little glimpse of hope as Tanner Janot returns from injury. We didn't know if he was going to be back this early, but he came back and did make his presence known in this game. The whining about the refs seemed to carry over in this game because the first chance that they got, the Lightning go shorthanded. Ian Cole with the trip. I don't know. Looked it's a trip, I guess. In the in the regular season, it's definitely a trip. In the postseason, it used to not be a trip. Now it's a trip. Some games, it's not a trip. You'll watch a game later tonight, it's not a trip. Uh, the refs are, in this series are stupid, uh, but I'm not going to blame the refs for this game. Right away, I'll give Toronto credit. They make they make the Lightning pay. Mitch Marner puts him up one nothing. Sergachev had a horrible game, and Sergachev was right there in front of that shot. I have no idea how or why he did not block that shot. He missed a lot of things tonight, and his big chance to really elevate himself and say, I'm the next Victor Hedman, he took a step backwards tonight. The guy was probably trying to do too much. He, he knew all that pressure was on him. He knew he had to have the game of his life. Sometimes that's too much for guys. He's still young. He's still going to be a great player. A face-off loss leads to Tavares finding just a little bit of space. And then Vassi's screen, so he did not see this shot at all. He had everybody in front of him. There was nothing he could do about that one. Uh, he did have some great saves throughout this game, but it was just way too much for him uh, to handle. He needed a little bit of help in front of him because it was turnover after 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 turnover. The blue line looked horrible, but I'll tell you what, a lot of those turnovers, they were in the neutral zone. Those These forwards cannot be making those mistakes, and then nobody gets back to play defense. A lot of these goals on Vassi were rebound goals. Somebody's got to be there to clear them out. Stamkos gets that penalty for high sticking, and Toronto scores when they have the extra man on the ice, then because of it being a four minute high sticking call, it's a double minor. So that means Toronto scores and they still get a two minute power play. And that's the one goal that I think Bassey really wants back. Uh, Nylander's got a good, good shot. He's a sniper. Uh, and that was a nice shot. But once again, go watch the replay of Darren Radish, maybe two feet to the side you got to lay out and block some of these shots, guys. This is the playoffs. These guys know that. Uh, maybe Darren Radish doesn't know that yet, but hopefully he's going to figure that out overnight. Second period, Vassy is just plugging holes everywhere as this ship is sinking and saving this team. There's this crazy like two or three minute sequence where Sorelli gets tripped to start it all. No call. They get an odd man rush. And then Sergachev tries to clear it out. He clears it directly to the wrong team. I almost felt like Sergachev was like, F it. I'm just going to give this back to, to Toronto and get in position to play defense because that's how bad this turnover was. The Bolts actually survived that little two, three minute stretch where it just looked like a power play, even though it was five on five. And then score at the end of it. Ian Cole, he's on the ice for over two minutes minutes gets a pass from Stamkos and then does some deaky dangling stuff and I'm like who is this Ian Cole and I was not expecting this game to say thank God for Ian Cole or at all in this playoffs but thank God for Ian Cole scoring that goal to make it three to one because that was a little glimpse of hope but it did not last long neutral zone turnover no one decides to come back and play defense John Tavares gets a rebound and puts it in Another turnover and another rebound goal. Nobody's there to do anything. It's five to one. And then a shot goes off. I think it was Hagel. It was deflected off. Nothing you can do about that. At this point, it's a joke. Nothing is going right for the Bolts. So third period, does Vassi get pulled? Of course not. Vassi probably said, fuck you. No, he said, fuck you in Russian. What's that sound like? He said that. And stayed in the game because it's Vassy. Uh, from what we've all heard, like Vassy does not like to get pulled out of games. I, I wish he, I wish he would have just sat that third period though. 
but he played. Jano did fight Shen. I'd love to see a round two of that fight, guys. That was that was awesome. That was a heavyweight bout. Corey Perry scored again, I guess because it's Toronto. He's got a score against Toronto. Uh, he did beat up Hole a little bit, which was nice to see. But the rest of this game was pretty much pointless. And I did want to point out three things that I saw from the Leafs fans that you're not going to see from Lightning fans after this game. Number one, blaming the refs. My God, I talked about at the beginning of this video. Cry some more. Cheering about opposing teams' injuries. And in game three and four, I'm confident because there's a Twitter poll at Shooty Shoots, scientific now, that Lightning fans will not be booing the Lightning after the first period, second period, or after the third period of any game, no matter what the score is. Bolts fans, some of you are going to overreact, but we won one of the games on the road, and now the only thing we really know is that it's a five-game series, and the next two games are at Emily Arena, so it is our job to be the Thunder and be loud and let them hear us. Go Bolts.